time around. Um, you know, normally when you fl when you play them, you go to play them a second time. You've played them already, and you've got something to fix. Um, you know, for us, uh, nothing changes um, other than you know we, we felt really prepped for them. Um, so today, a lot about us, um, especially on the defensive end, trying to work to get better. Um, still breaking down some Maryland stuff. We've got a you know a, a scout day tomorrow as well before we fly out. Just when you went back and watched the Iowa tape. What stood out for you? you know, I thought we competed really hard. Um, I thought we played hard. We didn't always play right, but we played hard. Um, you know, a lot of some defensive mistakes where they were just like stuff we weren't we were trying to take away. Or um, if if we, I thought we guarded their actions really well, but then we didn't guard basketball play. So getting better at just guarding basketball play. Um, you know, they, they ran a couple quick sets, quick hitters, and I thought we took away for, took them away, but then we just didn't guard the basketball. Um, so kind of getting back to just fundamental stuff. Um, obviously, Caitlin puts you in a, a little bit of a predicament most 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 of the time. Um, but you know, give them credit; they shot the they shot the lights out. The plenty of teaching moments for you. Plenty for of teaching you. moments. Plenty of teaching moments. Um, that's what we're getting ready to go do. <laughs> It just with Jayla. Yeah. We talked about it kind of all year, hoping or looking for the game or moment that mm -hmm. was a springboard for her. And yeah, I thought for the first time she she looked like not that she was thinking, like she was just out there playing basketball. Um, and I texted her, you know, the next day, and I was like, hey, like you look better on film than I even thought you did um, in the game. That's the Jayla I know and love. Don't let her go anywhere. And she replied and said she's not. So. Hopefully, this will just give her some confidence um, as we as we continue to roll on here. Emma was obviously a big get for you, but mm -hmm. to, to start as a freshman in the first game and as a starter all year, how has her confidence grown at the next level? Yeah, I think she's getting more and more comfortable. We've got, we, you know, she, 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 we ask her to process a lot out there um, on the defensive end. Um, and the Iowa game wasn't one of her best defensive games, but she battles hard. You know, you don't ever have to, la you know, question her. You know how hard she plays, her efforts. Um, so, for us, maybe we do a better job of maybe simplifying some things for her, um, just because instinctually it's not the same as like say Madison, JT, Abby, Caitlin is just because of experience. Um, but from where we were at the UCLA game to where we are now, the game has calmed down and, and really slowed down in her mind. And I think it's our job to, to continue to get that to keep, slow down even more. To have a big that can shoot threes that kind of opens up and lets her have some space to work. How beneficial is that? You know, it's good. I, you know, having her and Caitlin can both stretch and shoot it. Mila can stretch and shoot it. Um, even Elena, I know she hasn't shown that, but like they can stretch and shoot it. Um, we've got to do a better job, I think, of, of running some stuff for MA with her back to the basket um, and then maybe allowing Caitlin to stretch. Um, I think most of the time when we run back to the basket stuff, it's for Caitlin inside. And um, we've got to put our, our team in a better spot. And I think MA can score the basketball. She's a natural scorer. So, Look for us to do that a little bit more, I hope. Talk about those last five months of away from you guys yeah. against Iowa and how it's kind of been a thing. Um, how do you how do you address that? How do you get them to We wa we just watched it on tape. Um, you know, and it wasn't like like I know Soph comes in and misses two box out on a possession. Mila is doing something she she doesn't normally do on the defensive end. Spider rushes a shot, but it wasn't that lineup. It was it was it was our vets um, that kind of set the tone for when we did sub, that they're going to see that that's what I meant um, when I said that. Um, it, it's, it's about finishing stuff off. Like, that's got to be our mindset, finishing plays, finishing possessions, finishing games. Um, we've got some kids in there that, that will have 14 regular season games left, so 15 guaranteed games. Um, you know, and just making sure, no matter we're leaving a film session, a practice, a weight session, that they're walk a game, that they're they're making sure that when they lay their head down at la at night, there's not one single regret in their mind. Just looking at Maryland, I know last year was that last second shot heartbreaker. I know it's two different teams this year. Mm -hmm. but what kind of challenges do you think they'll present for you guys this year? Um, you know, they're they're obviously a, a different ball club without Diamond Miller, but Shy Sellers can still get it going um, anytime. Um, they they're they're a little. They, they, they scored a ball better from the perimeter than they did last year, um, but they're still Maryland. They're going to scramble defensively. They're going to switch everything. They're going to fly around and, and go rogue and look for you to make some mistakes. Uh, but they're elite in transition. Uh, so, so we've got to make sure we're, we're stopping the basketball and uh, making them play in the half court as much as we can.